is Richard Saunders from Alpha Militaria once again. Um, welcome to the channel. Um, today on the bench I have got um, probably one of the more expensive rifles uh, on the market. Certainly one of the most technologically advanced rifles. Um, it's from Daystate, it's the, uh, the Red Wolf. Um, and this particular model is the Red Wolf Midnight, um, which is the version that has this beautiful blue uh, laminate stock. Um, the rifle is also available in a red laminate stock and also in a, uh, a walnut stock as well. Uh, and there's also a high powered version called the Safari, uh, which has a kind of a grained um, uh, rough feel wood stock as well. Day state rifles, generally speaking, tend to be sort of at the upper end of the price range for, for, for air rifles, and with good reason. I mean, if you really take your sport seriously and you're looking for um, the, one of the best rifles around, um, then Day State is a, certainly is a brand for you to look at. Um, now, this, this rifle here is one of their electronic rifles. Now, I don't mean that it's a ray gun or it shoots out bolts of plasma or something. What I mean by that is that unlike um, conventional rifles where the firing action is based on levers and springs and sears and what have you, the, the firing action and the cocking action for this is all electronic. Um, as a result of that, um, it's able to deliver very, very precise levels of, uh, of, of power and consistency in terms of, of uh, muzzle velocity as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the rifle as usual from uh, back to front uh, and take you through all the, uh, the key features and then we'll zoom in on a few of the, the ones that are a little bit more difficult to see. So starting at the back you have this 3D multi-way adjustable uh, shoulder pad um, which is very comfortable in the shoulder, um, really may, enables you to get into the right position for the rifle and that's helped further by the fact that um, this uh, cheek piece here, this comb, is adjustable as well. There's a little um, Allen bolt in here. You slacken that off and that cheek piece will raise up and down so that you can get really good um, eye alignment for the scope. Um, the pistol grip is, um, has some stippling on it uh, and there's some contours for your fingers. And there's a shelf at the top here for you to put your thumb if you want to shoot with, your, uh, with a thumb up. Um, if you want to shoot with, uh, with a wraparound grip, that's uh, quite comfortable as well. Now the side lever on these rifles, as I say, it's electronic. So when you pull the side lever, you're doing nothing in terms of um, cocking any sears or springs or something. All you're basically doing is telling the electronic brain to get ready to take a shot and probing the, prelate, uh, probing the pellet. Um, very, very smooth. There's no kind of double action to it. It's just a simple backwards and forwards um, as I say, to wake up the electronic brain and to probe the pellet. Uh, there's a safety catch on the back here, which is a very nice positive on-off kind of feel to it, and you can operate that silently as well. Um, the fore end is grooved, uh, it's very comfortable, and what I like about this is that there's plenty of, of fore end for you to hold on to uh, without you having to hold the bottle. Um, in your stance, you know, there's it's plenty of, of, of stock to work with. The bottle itself is a carbon fibre bottle, um, 480 cc's, um, gives a huge, huge shot count. Um, you're looking at around about just under 500 shots in 12 foot pounds um, in 2 2, and a, a few less in 177, but you're still talking about nearly a tin full of, panic, of pellets. Uh, the barrel itself has this lovely carbon shroud on it. Um, and is threaded for a silencer and I have to say it's definitely one of the most quietest rifles uh, I think I've ever used. Um, it really really is. Um, the silencer just sort of takes out any kind of hush um, at, at all and because you haven't got anything much in the way of springs going on in the action there's, there's very little in the way of, uh, of, of noise from the action as well. Um, now this side lever operates um, Day State's proprietary uh, 10 shot magazine. Um, very, very simple to, to load. Um, if you can see here, um, the drum revolves. So, loading is simply a case of revolving the drum round, dropping pellets in uh, from the side that has this U shaped cutout. Um, 
until you put all 10 in. It takes 10 pellets in 177 and 22, and I believe in 25 as well. And then when you're ready to load it, the magazine goes in from the left, it's magnetised so it kind of finds its own way um, into the breech. Pull the side lever back, put the magazine, and it just slides in like that, push the, uh, the side lever forward, and you're ready to go. The Red Wolf is powered by a battery. Now, the battery is housed in the, um, the pistol grip here. I don't know if you can see that, um, but in this little cavity up here is the battery. And you probably need like a little pair of long nose pliers or something just to ease it out and then uh, separate the connections. Um, the rifle comes with a charger, um, so um, you obviously just connect the, the battery to the charger, plug it in, and it'll charge it up again. Now the battery lasts for literally thousands of shots. It's not something you're going to do very often, uh, but it's a very simple thing to do. Now one little uh, foible with the Red Wolf um, is that as an electronic gun, um, if you have it cocked and loaded, say you're out hunting and you're waiting for a rabbit or a pigeon or whatever to come, to come and uh, present itself, um, the rifle will kind of go into a sleep mode, it will switch itself off to save battery. Now um, that can be frustrating sometimes because something comes out, you're ready to take a shot, you pull the trigger, nothing happens. Um, so what you need to do in that case is just, you can either just cycle the, the side lever again, you won't probe another pellet but that just wakes the rifle up, or you can switch the, the safety catch on and off, um, that does the same thing, that, that wakes the rifle up again. Just something to bear in mind so you don't miss out on that opportunity. Now as this is a, an electronic rifle, um, there is no uh, pressure gauge, mechanical pressure gauge as you get on most other rifles. Your um, This little uh, computerised window here gives you um, information, I don't know if you can see that, but that will give you um, a little digital readout of your remaining uh, air pressure in the gun, um, as well as um, there are three different power settings on this, a high, medium and low, a pow low power setting. Um, so you can set that um, quite easily. Um, what you'll need to do is you need to pull the, um, the side lever back and then activate the trigger and that cycles through the various different menus um, on the rifle. There's even a menu on there which will count how many shots um, you've taken and how many are left in your magazine, uh, which is really good as well. And uh, to, to fill the rifle, there's a, a plastic cap here which is magnetised, and you see those magnets there. And then there is a, a, a valve on there, um, and that takes a standard Foster fitting um, over the top of it. All Dare State rifles come with a little, a little um, emblem here, which gives the maximum fill rate of the rifle that you've got. And this one is a 210 bar fill. Um, now, for some reason, the maximum fill rating um, or the recommended maximum fill rating varies from different day state rifles. Um, even other midnight blue Red Wolves will have a different fill rate, um, up to about 250 is about the maximum. Um, but as I say, just check on this little roundel here to see what the fill pressure is for your gun to make sure you're not overfilling it. Well, I'm down at uh, Reading Air Target Shooting Club once again. They very kindly let me have the run of their range. Um, it's a beautiful little club. Um, as I've said before, they've got 30 metre lanes here, 50 metre lanes, uh, plenty of them as well. A nice friendly club. Um, if, you're, if you're looking for a club in the Berkshire area, check them out. Do a search, uh, Google search, Bing search for, uh, for Reading Air Target Shooting Club and you should come across them. Um, so I'm going to put some pellets in the rifle and see how it performs downrange. Too bad at all. That's uh, 10 pellets, I should think, pretty much all in the same hole at 30 meters. Well, that's not too bad. Um, I should imagine probably 
six or seven of those pellets through the same hole. There's a little bit of a, of a crossways breeze here today, which has just pushed one or two of those out. Um, but that's not bad for 30 meters. Um, one thing I would say is that the, the trigger on the Red Wolf is, uh, is electronic and is, is quite light. Um, takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's fully adjustable and you can adjust the weight to suit you. But once you get used to it, it's a really pleasant, crisp two-stage trigger to use. So there you go. That is the Daystate Red Wolf Midnight. Um, I hope you found the video uh, helpful. If you did, please click on the subscribe button and give us a like. And if you'd like any more information on the Daystate range and plenty of other ranges as well as uh, buying guides and, uh, and air rifle articles, uh, please check out our website www.alphamilitaria.com Thanks a lot!